Welcome back to part two of the coupe project. I finally got it off the grass, onto the drive. I haven't had a chance to wash it or clean it or anything. I thought while the weather's good, we'll get it jacked up and have a good look underneath, give it a good poke around and see what eight months of sitting on grass has done to the underneath of this car. Last time I looked at it, I couldn't see any holes and it looked okay. If it needs a lot doing to it, I reckon I'm gonna build one of them rotisserie things in the workshop and get it in there so I can get it on its side and have a good have a good go at it. Anyway, right let's get underneath. Have you got your overalls on? Come on. You can hold the torch for me. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look. What's going on underneath the coupe? Oh dear. Oh. Crunchy. That don't look good. Radiator support. That's too bad. You have to ignore the framework I've got going on. That's just so I can store stuff in the engine bay. Because you know, when space is at a premium, you gotta stick stuff where you can. I see that sat on top of the steering rack. So. It's a bit grotty. It's still still solid. Okay. Gearbox mounting still on there. Yeah. Not much good there. Subframe's not a problem. I got plenty of them. I can't see. Subframe mounts though. About the arms, not bothered about the spindles. Oh, got loads of spare bits for that. Let's take a look at the floor pan up front. Look okay, at this is pretty good in this area. Oh, nice and oh, nice and solid. have not been they're a bit loose because they're all <laughs> smells good it's been jacked up here before Is the sill edge? Which is a little bit grotty going yeah, there. Yeah. 
these pieces are intact. Brake pipes, I've seen better days. those ones. So it's only there really that's not great. We can sort that out, that's not a problem. So I've had this grommet out. A while ago. It had all been wax oil. In there. So I'm pretty good with that bit. Look at that. We're left that wing off. Ugh. Same with this side. It's been jacked up. Floor. It seems pretty solid. That's what we're looking at. Surprisingly solid. Oh. Under the same sealant. Oh yeah, it's gonna be under that, under that cross member in it, that's where it's gonna be. Daylight over there. So there's the hole where the two seams are. Under the cross member. It's gonna be one where else was it gonna be? 
There's two holes in the floor. Let's take a look further back. This is the same area on the passenger side. Absolutely fine. No, that's not. This is okay. So just this bit here along again another seam Just that there. From here it looks a bit shitty. <laughs> it's all pretty solid though. And the roll bar looking like it's freshly pulled up from the Atlantic Ocean. I think a rotisserie is in order for this. What's this all about? Let's 
break pipe situation. I think this is the good side. as I remember. Handbrake still works okay. Okay, this is the same section on the other side. This, this area that looks like damp, that's actually oil, put that in there a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's, that's all oil. It's, it's run through and soaked into there. You see it's come out of a little hole there. So all this where the fuel tank is set. Still pretty good, back of the foil's okay. Let's get me there. There's a plastic cover that goes this side, I guess that's why it's not so bad. Not too good. <laughs> so let's look at the cells. Out of the back. Moisture traps. That's not too bad. I was expecting far worse because of this.
<laughs> Speak too soon. supposed to be there is it <laughs> pretty sure it's not seems worse and we've seen worse put back on the road haven't we This is always an interesting piece. And this seam. There's a gap in mine. It's supposed to have ceiling in it, I think. Who knows? This is the worst bit. This was this was pretty bad two years ago. As you can see, amazingly, it hasn't got any better. I mean, it's pretty clean up there. Just. But underneath there, it seems solid there. It's only got to fix the, a few layers of the onion. Dread to think like those. Oh, they're too bad actually. Maybe not in the bottom. Overall though. Not too bad. Great stuff. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to press that like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash that bell button. Or is it smash the like button, hit the add, you know the score. Just you know, press one of them, or even all of them. <laughs>